Now, today's top stories in Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. A 14-year-old was gunned down in the middle of the afternoon. The suspected killers are 12 and 13. Maple Heights police arresting the two boys today in connection with the shooting death of Shashawn Anderson. They say Shashawn was shot in the back outside a store on Broadway Avenue just before 4 yesterday. He was rushed to a local hospital, did not survive. Witnesses told police they saw a number of kids run from the scene. Shashawn was a student at Milkovich Middle School in Maple Heights. School counselors are offering support to students, staff, and family all week long. First Energy customers are about to share more than $300 million in refunds from the power company. It's part of a settlement over claims that First Energy collected excessive profits over a span of three years. $96 million in direct refunds will be given out with more than half going to residential customers. Then another $210 million will be given out through credits and power bills from 2022 through 2025. A group involved in negotiations says individual customers will get about $85 in total credits. Let's talk weather. Hi, Mark. It's cold. Oh, it's cold out tonight. Lows in the 30s. Could be some lake effect snow, primarily east of Cleveland here, with up to three inches of snow in some localized locations elsewhere. It's an isolated mix of rain and wet snow, but it's a good freeze tonight. Look at lower 30s, maybe even some upper 20s. Button the coats. 45 on Wednesday, cloud sun mix, and again, some lake effect rain and wet snow. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.